Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Good morning. Happy yes. Monday. It is uh, September 20th. Yes. And Wednesdays, autumn begins. <laughs> so you can The now, time has come. <laughs> you can now gush. Gush away. About autumn without me without responding. Fear of a... Uh, retaliation just reminding you that all things in their time mm -hmm. yeah so We've, that'll be okay i so, bought a new uh, harvest gnome door hanging for our house did you mm -hmm. wow it's quite delightful wow yeah okay yeah well today the temperature is going to be more summer like but by the end of the week mm -hmm. yeah so I'm anyway so that's yeah so anyway but uh <laughs> we're at the end of september already yeah uh this sunday is the last sunday yep. of september it's the fifth sunday month and then we will be in the throes of October. Yes, indeed. Oh Which is very exciting. Time does go fast, it but I love October. Time flies when you're having fun, yes, is indeed. what they say. So yes. we'll see. Anyway, um, so I guess we should move into the schedule. Yeah, I was going to say, speaking of fun, we have some fun All things right. happening. All right, so today on Monday, uh, uh, the office is open, but you know we don't really have anything on the mm -hmm. schedule Yeah. Uh, other than that. But uh, um you what's going yeah. on for tuesday yeah so tuesday um we will not have bible studies this tuesday but uh the downtown perk study will start on tuesday the uh 28th Which so next tuesday next tuesday a week from tomorrow. yes a week from tomorrow uh and that will be led by pastor roger moore and it will be in the book of james so no bible study this week but mark your calendars for next uh tuesday at 10 a.m Bible study. And then also Uniontown will be returning with uh, Pastor Kyle Gould, uh, and that will be October 12th. And he will be uh, starting a study in the book of Ruth. So that will be on Tuesday, October 12th in the evening. So stay tuned, not this week, but they're coming down the pike yeah. and we're excited about that. Yep. And uh, on Tuesday, tomorrow, we also have WSC will be meeting at 1130 here at the church to begin kind of talking about and planning for the year. So I know that that's an exciting thing to, yeah, to look exciting. at all that, all that the women serving Christ have going on. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Excellent. Excellent. Wow. All right. So Wednesday prayer respite at 1130. Come and join Lindsay in the sanctuary for a time of prayer. It lasts an hour, but it also can last as long as you can be there. So mm -hmm. you can come for 15, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, spend some time in silence and, and meditation and prayer. That would be great. A way to just center yourself in the midst mm -hmm. of a busy week, which yes. is always a good thing to do. Yes. Very good thing to do. Um, and then we haven't talked about Celebrate Recovery lately. So just want to mention that uh, we've been having, con continue to have conversations about what that might look like next. Uh, COVID, obviously, uh, just obviously we had, um, well, we just, a lot of people didn't come. We didn't have it for a while. We haven't had some, a lot of people come back uh, for various reasons. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things I know that we have decided is probably if there is sort of another incarnation of Wednesday evening, it will not be Celebrate Recovery because Celebrate Recovery is very labor intensive. We need a lot of people you know, we were having people from other churches, from Christ United mm -hmm. Methodist and from Emmanuel, Nankin. from Nankin helping us out. Um, and so we have basically decided that we just simply uh, are, in a, are in the place where we can't do that again. Mm -hmm. So it will not be Celebrate Recovery because to call it Celebrate Recovery, you have to have certain components and we will not have those. But we're all we are talking about perhaps having uh, uh, share groups, mm -hmm. just have uh, a, a one um, men's share group and a women's share group uh, so that people can come and we will who, who want to and we will have uh, uh, facilitators for that who lead that and then we'll also provide child care for persons who need mm -hmm. child care. But we haven't really worked through all the details of that yet. And so it, We'll see how that goes. We'll keep you updated. We just wanted to let you know that that's where we are right now to celebrate recovery. Yeah. Join us in praying for guidance. And join us, please pray. Pray for us as we kind of try and figure out and navigate through that. Yeah. Um, so one of the things and one of the other questions we've had is, you know, celebrate recovery, even though there are other groups that meet in the area. Uh, recovery group celebrate recovery was kind of was unique mm. in that it was christ-centered in that it was for any hurts habit and hang up it mm. wasn't devoted to just one issue um, and so now we have to determine whether we can 
still do what we're going to do mm -hmm. and embody that or whether we we also just don't want to repeat things that are happening in the community mm -hmm. so we gotta we gotta work through all that stuff so that's what we're doing so that's what's going on yeah yeah uh, and then looking down the rest of the week thursday and friday will be pretty quiet um the again the office will be open uh, but looking into uh, Sunday, before we get to the sermon, Sunday is going to be a big week or a big Sunday this this week. Uh, we have worship per usual, uh, but then we will be meeting uh, for a confirmation class. Uh, so uh, we have a group of five confirmands signed up and uh, we do lunch and then a lesson. So that will be happening this week um, after uh, youth Sunday school. Uh, and then we will be having feast night uh, from five to six. So if you are interested in helping with feast night, please contact Carol Wally or myself. Uh, it's going to be another kind of drive-by uh, option, but it's always a really good time. So love to have folks um, come and participate. Or if you're just a really good dessert maker or dessert buyer, Marie Calendar Pies, I tell you. Yeah, um, yes, we do need some more desserts for feast night. So if you uh, want to bring those by the church, anything that is easily frozen is good uh, for feast night. And then also, uh, it won't be happening this Sunday, but starting next Sunday, October 3rd, which I can't believe <laughs> somehow it's October, uh, Daniel and I will be starting to lead an eight-week class in prayer, and that will be via Zoom from seven to eight, and there will be more information coming out. We'll send out the links, um, but mark your calendars. We're going to, the first lesson, we're going to be talking about the Lord's Prayer, and then we will move through different types of prayer and prayer mm -hmm. practices uh, throughout the coming weeks. So it won't be this Sunday, but the following Sunday. So kind of get ready and yeah, get excited for that. I think it will be, be yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. It's just kind of a, it's kind of a fun thing to get back to our roots. One of the things on our website that we've kind of zeroed in on is that prayer is the life breath of ministry and like, how do we harness that? So get ready and stay tuned on right. what that will look like. So yeah, tell us about the sermon. Well, that's a perfect segue in hey, the sermon look at that. because this Sunday is from James mm -hmm. chapter five, the end of the letter, where James talks about prayer. Mm -hmm. And he, at one point, he says, Elijah was a man just like us. Um, never thought of myself like Elijah. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> yeah uh, not Elijah was here. just like us, but he prayed and the heavens withheld rain for three and a half years. Mm -hmm. And then he prayed again, and the heavens opened up, and it rained. And so he talks about the prayers of a righteous person is powerful and effective. So, wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's pretty intense. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, you know, I mean, I, you know, we have dry weather, and I'll pray for God to send the rain, but, you know, it doesn't necessarily open up and flood right after I'm done praying. Yeah. What does that mean? What, do, what does it mean? How do we deal with prayer? What do we, you know, mm -hmm. you're going to look at that a lot more specifically, you and Daniel. But, you know, wow, prayer is important. Prayer is center. It's the lifeblood of ministry. It, it is real critical. But how do we understand our prayers? And what are our expectations when mm -hmm. we pray? Mm -hmm. And James seems to think prayer really is, can be a powerful thing. Mm -hmm. And I agree with that. Mm -hmm. But uh, Anyway, so that's the subject. Extraordinary yeah. prayer. And prayer, I would I would make the case mm -hmm. that very simple prayers, even daily prayers, are extraordinary things. So yeah. well, a, a quote I'll use Sunday, but I'll, I'll give you a preview. Karl Barth, the great theologian. The great Karl Barth. Prayer is the way we, prayer is, is um, the, the uh, first, uh, see now that I've said yeah. it, right? Okay. I'll tell you what, I'll find the Bart quote. I use it in a sermon Sunday. It's oh, something wet about your whistle. There's it's prayers. It's, it's like in. rebellion against the disorder of the world. Oh, but right. I'll, I'll do another quote. Edna Madonna. Mm -hmm. uh, prayer is the way we let God loose in the world. Oh, I love, that, I love that so much. Prayer is the way we let God yeah. loose. In the world. So, and sometimes we really underestimate prayer. We it's do. Like, all I can do is pray. Well, that's right. a thing. Right. You know? Sometimes, sometimes prayer is the only thing we can do, mm -hmm. but it isn't. The, the last resort mm -hmm. do we treat do we treat prayer as the last resort when when everything else fails okay now i'll pray or do we start with prayer yeah it's a good question yeah okay. absolutely all right so Lindsay, what's on your mind yeah um kind of twofold first yesterday was youth sunday it was i just always enjoy jesse and and sue work together 
uh, yeah. to help pick out the music. It was great. Um, and just a reminder that the can drive is continually going. So mm -hmm. the youth is, are there looking forward to outreach? And when I think about outreach um, and the ways that we spend our lives, the way that we serve others, there's just every day I open my, my news headlines and there's just more stories of loss yes. and tragedy and um, the world is thick with it in some in very personal ways recently. And um, it's just got me thinking a lot about the time given to us and what we will do with it. And my favorite poet is Mary Oliver. Um, and there is this line that she wrote that says, tell me what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? And that has been really kind of uh, ringing through my head recently, um, because I think it can be really easy to get caught up in the mundane or even just having anxiety or um, getting too worked up about little things, you know what I mean? Yeah. When life is short, you know, yeah. and how we spend it matters. And so I get so excited with things like the youth can drive. It's like, I will spend some time yeah. bringing that in. And, and serving others in that way. And so I've just been doing some self-reflection on, you know, if I was given a month to live, what would yeah, I do? What would you focus on? Yeah, and I know that it's kind of a, seems cliche, but to actually sit and ponder that is is yeah, real, yeah. you know? No, that's a great point. And, you know, we, we've talked a lot in the last few years about privilege and mm -hmm. what it means to be privileged. I know some people get tired of hearing that. But the reality is, because we happen to live in a place where we have, uh, where we 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 prosper basically, mm -hmm. we've got you know we don't worry about uh, quote unquote the big things in life. Mm -hmm. We tend to default and complain about the little things, mm -hmm. and we make them central. Yeah. When we shouldn't have to do that. Yeah. When when you know, and I know you've been overseas too, and you've been in places. You know, when I go to Cuba and uh, my Cu our Cuban brothers and sisters, they don't worry about the stuff we worry about. Yeah. They, they, it's not of concern to them. It's, yeah. You know, it's small stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Because they're thinking about food and thinking mm -hmm. about, you know, uh, other things that are going on. Yeah. COVID, which is ravaging the island, but mm -hmm. but uh, they're not they're not focused on, you know, some of the things we focus on in this. Yeah. So and so so it's by the way, I'm not I'm not saying that we shouldn't we shouldn't uh, be concerned about some of the small sure, things in life. But our problem is we give them undue emphasis. Yes. And we sort of treat them as the crisis when they're really not. Yeah. And I don't and, want to get to the end of all things and say, yeah. wow, I wish I would have spent less time worrying yeah. about my to-do list and more time, yeah. you know, in relationship yeah. or um, serving or yeah. that sort of thing. So it's a yeah. perspective shift. You know, I've said that over the years and all the funerals that I've done mm -hmm. and when adult children will eulogize the mother or father that's passed away. Not one of them has ever said, gosh, I wish my mother would have spent less time with us. Yeah. Yeah. Or I wish my dad would have made more money. Yeah. Nobody says that. Yeah. What they talk about is the love and care and the yeah. time and the meaning, the, the memories. Meaningful of memories. That's yeah. what they talk about. Yeah. So it's just a reminder for all of us because mm -hmm. all of us can get into this. You know, mm -hmm. there are times when I'm, I have to say to Carol, I'm kind of, going on about something that's not really huge yeah and then I'll catch myself and I'll stop and I'll look at her and I'll say <laughs> okay I'm done now. yeah got so, that out <laughs> yeah I got that out I'm done now and yeah. move on because basically that's a minor thing yeah and and so we all just have to think about that but those are good words you yeah. know when we get to the end of our life when I get to the end what will I have spent my time on mm -hmm. and will I be happy about that yeah it's heavy, but a good thing to ponder. It is. Yeah. Well, on that note, Lindsay, would you offer us a prayer? Yes, I would love All to. Right. Jesus, thank you for the, today. Thank you for this week, for this fast moving month of September. I pray that as we go through um, these fast moving days, that we would have our eyes fixed on you, that we would have our eyes fixed on what is pure and good and noble and praiseworthy. Um, Help us to uh, decentralize ourselves so that we might look to others to serve them and that we might uh, have a perspective that when we get to the end of things, we can say we're proud. Uh, as we go through this week, I pray that you would bless all of our big and small decisions. Um, I pray a blessing over all those who are watching this, who will watch it, uh, and give us a kingdom perspective so that we might live in a way that honors you. In your sweet and precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, Amen. folks, have a great day. Have a great week.